everyone, it's Heather and I know I haven't been on here for such a long time uh, but basically I am now um, where am I? almost 39 weeks pregnant and I thought before baby actually arrives I really wanted to do a what's in my baby's hospital bag video so ever since I uh, discovered that I was pregnant I've loved watching these videos because they're just so useful because I'm quite a nosy person so seeing what people pack in the hospital bags is like right up my alley. So I thought I'd share with you what I packed for um, my little one and hopefully you find this kind of useful or if there's anything that you think I've missed it would be really good if you leave a comment below saying you know I took blah 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 and it was really helpful. That would be good too because I feel like there's something missing. I don't know. So anyway, so I'm just going to take you through what's in the bag and uh, yeah, let's go. So the bag itself that I'm going to be using is my changing bag. Um, this is the Packapod Murano and I think it's in the colour tan. Now I, for a long time, um, debated whether to get this bag or not. I did a lot of research on changing bags and things like that. And... Um, it's quite expensive. I think they retail about around about the hundred pound mark, which I think is quite a lot for a bag. <laughs> I usually go to like Primark for my bag, so um, yeah, I'm kind of like, yeah, that's a lot of money. But I was on eBay and happened to see a what they call like pre-loved bag, um, which was actually being sold by Packapod themselves. So I'm not sure if it was like maybe an ex-demonstrator bag or something like that and I really studied the pictures and it looked like there was only a couple of little marks on it but apart from that it looked absolutely in pristine condition so I went ahead and bidded for it and I think I ended up getting it about half price so I was pretty happy with that um, and I love it because it, it's really just like a it's more like a handbag than it is like a, a traditional kind of like changing bag I knew I, I didn't want one that was like kind of like patterned or anything like that. I would rather have one that looked more like just a tote bag or a handbag. Plus, um, the pram that we've got is um, grey, but it has like tan coloured leather handles on it as well. So it kind of matches in with that as well. So that's what I went for anyway. So yeah, this is the Packapod Murano um, in case anyone is interested. But it looks really well made and it's really sturdy. So I thought I would just use this for um, the baby's hospital bag. In the front here, let's see, I'll open this up. I have, I just left the changing, there's a changing mat in here already and I've just left that in basically. And um, I also have three uh, muslin little square things. Now these, think we're just from Primark so this one's got like little stars on it um yeah little stars in fact two of them have got little stars on them and the other one is just like a plain white one um I'm not sure whether I've mentioned because I've not actually spoken to anyone on here for so long but we haven't actually found out what we're having so um it's a total surprise um so everything is kind of like neutral grey white all that kind of thing. Um, the other thing that's in here is the little pod which normally lives in here. The pack a pod, that's where it gets its name from. It normally has two pods in here, like a changing pod and a feeding pod. I've taken the feeding pod out. I've actually put it in my own hospital bag to keep some stuff in because I don't think I'll need it in the hospital. So I just put these in here instead. But I'll show you exactly what I've got packed in this little one here. So in this little uh, pod, this is the uh, changing pod out of the, the Packapod's, um, what would you call it, bag system, I don't know what you would call it. So we'll open this up, I have all like the baby's changing things that I think I'll need. I have some nappies in here, now I also have some more nappies in the bag which you'll see in a minute but this was like all I could squeeze in here so I think there's um, about 8 or 10 in that little um, compartment here. And then in this little bag, there's like a little um, wet bag in there for keeping like, I guess, soiled nappies in, which I probably won't need, but I've just left it in there so I know where it is. I've got some nappy sacks at the back. 
Um, I've also got a pack of the water wipes at the back. Um, for those of you who are not aware, water wipes are almost completely um, chemical free. There are 99.9% .9 water and 0.1% fruit extract. So they're really, really gentle on the baby skin. It's, it's almost all water, apart from just, I guess, a little bit of fragrance. Um, so I packed those. I don't know how keen the hospital are on you actually using those versus using like, like cotton wool balls and just water. So I packed both anyway and they maybe won't really bother what exactly you use, I guess, if you're changing your baby's nappy. That's the most important thing. So, yeah. And then there's a little, like, pa uh, little pouch in here which I've got um, some barrier ointment like kind of nappy cream. This is the uh, the brand is Metinium every day and this is like a kind of preventative one rather than a um, like reparative one so this is like to prevent nappy rash rather than to cure it I guess. And also have this teeny tiny little pot of pseudocreme um, which is so cute it's tiny if you see the size of my hand versus the size of this little tub and I got this in the a bounty box. Incidentally, if you are pregnant at the minute, it's quite useful to download the bounty app. And on it, there's a down the bottom, there's a freebie section. If you go in there and you either go, I think it's like Tesco Boots. I don't know where else do them, but they do like little. Um, there's like a gift box and a, a gift bag thing, and there's like loads of little like samples and there's like nappies in one of them as well. So it's quite handy to get, um, and they're free. So um, you can just pop into boots and pick those up. So that's like a little bonus. So that's where I got that tiny little to the cream from. And the last thing I've got in here is a hand sanitizer. This is a Bath and Body Works one. It's the um, the fragrance is Mayor Lemon. I've got loads of these, but I thought maybe the lemon one would be the most suitable. Um, so yeah, I might swap that out for something that's less scented at some point, but I had it, so I thought I'd be as well just using it. So that's all that fits in that little pack there, um, and it just zips round like so. And it has like a little pocket in the back here as well, which I don't have anything in at the minute, but um, I guess you could pop something in there if you really wanted to. So moving on to the main section of the bag, this is just has like one big zip compartment in the middle here, um, is where I've got everything else packed. So I'm just going to like pull things out and show you exactly what I've got and stuff. So, first thing I've got is a really beautiful um, fine knit crochet blanket that um, my mum actually had made for me. So, I'll try and show you in a kind of better way. But this is like a hand knitted, um, just really fine um, knitted um, shawl. So I want to take this into the hospital with me, even for like after the baby's born, so that I can get some pictures. I love babies in white. I just think they are like so fresh and cute and lovely. So that's why I've um, I've packed this because I just think it'll be really nice in photos, um, and uh, just to kind of wrap the little one up in. And it's so so soft and it's really really fine and delicate, and I just love it. There's something so like old fashioned about it I think that's why I really like it um, so yeah I'm definitely taking this one in for the little one then I have like a pack of like extra nappies I really wasn't sure how many nappies to take I think babies go through about like 10 a day and I don't know how long I'm going to be in there so I've just packed some extras in there as well um, these nappies are the Aldi is it Aldi? Yeah, Aldi Mania nappies and I, I've got a wee stash up the stairs of size 1 and size 2 but these are size 1 um, which I think take you up to like £10, £9-£10, something like that so I think they'll probably be, be big enough um, and yep so I've got another 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 of those there like I say I don't know really <laughs> how many to take but um, I'm going to pop these in, um, I've got those Ikea Ziploc bags which I just love, I use for everything. So I'm going to pop those in like a little Ziploc bag just so they're not like floating about inside the bag and they're all kind of together. Coming home outfits, I have a couple of options. Now I was 
not sure what to go with for coming home out it's because I don't know how big the baby's going to be and we also don't know the gender so I'm kind of like well I think I'm just going to go with sleep suits for coming out of the hospital. Keeps the little one cosy because it's um, it's March here but it's still pretty cold um, so I want the little one to be warm rather than stylish do you know what I mean we've got plenty of time to buy little cute outfits and stuff for it. So I've gone with a couple of different size options for going home outfits. I've got this one if the baby's slightly smaller. This is um, just a little sleep suit with the feet in it um, and it's kind of it's grey and it's got um, a little elephant on the front and it's just got shine bright written on it. And this is from uh, Tesco, this is uh, the F&F &F baby and it's really nice, it's kind of like more like a, it's got a slightly ribbed texture to it so it's quite it's quite thick but this one is the size is up to one month so I, I'm just not sure what size the baby's going to be so I thought I'll take that and that'll be like if it's slightly smaller and I have this little sleep suit here um, that's zero to three so it's slightly bigger and longer as well because I am uh, almost six foot tall myself so I haven't kind of inkling that I might have a long baby. I don't know if there's any truth in that but I thought I just want to make sure that the wee one fits in it. <laughs> so yeah, so I've got this little one here and it's got little um, polar bears and um, deer on it I think and little penguins. But it's just like a white background again because I just love white on babies. And this one, I'm trying to remember where I got it. I think it's, um, where is it? This one's also Tesco actually, and um, this is also um, Florence and Fred or whatever you call it at a Tesco. So yeah, there we go. So that one's just slightly bigger. So I've got a couple of options in there depending on the size of the baby. Next up in here is a hat. I packed this little, and this was hand knitted as well. This little hand knitted white bobble hat. Again, just for the baby leaving the hospital. Um, I know that it might be a bit chilly, um, it's not particularly warm outside today and it's really windy so I want to make sure the little one is warm enough so I've just packed this little hat which looks teeny tiny, I'm not even sure that would fit on a newborn's head but it does give a bit of stretch so yeah I just thought it was really cute. Just plain white again, just gorgeous. I've packed just a couple of like really um, inexpensive um, like I think they call them cellular blankets so they've just got the, like tiny little micro holes in them um, and I think I got this one the white one out of Primark and I've also packed a mint green one as well I got this one out of Aldi they were both pretty inexpensive I think they were a couple of pounds two or three pounds um, but I just thought having a couple of blankets just to pop over the baby make sure it's cozy and warm um, you know that'd be good as well. Um, one thing that I haven't packed that I'm going to pack is a swaddle blanket as well. I'm quite interested in swaddling the baby just to see uh, you know if that's something that they'll respond to. Um, they say swaddling's really good because they're used to being in the womb and it's quite a confined space and they're nice and cosy and warm in there so they quite like to be swaddled when they come out to kind of replicate that environment. So I'm going, to, I'm going to take one of those, I've got one upstairs actually, I'm going to pack it once I've finished this video but um, I don't know, again we'll see how it goes, I'm just kind of packing for all eventualities here so yeah I'll pack one of those as well and that'll be my little blanket. Another thing I've got is a little hat here, um, the hospital are really keen for you to bring in a hat with you just to pop on the baby as soon as they're warm, just to keep them, as soon as they're warm, as soon as they're born, to keep them warm, <laughs> baby brain. Um, so I've just packed this little one here. I think this is also from Tesco actually. Yeah, it's a Tesco one. I'm just going to take a label of that as well, just noticed. But it's just little um, grey and yellow stars all over it and it's just got a little kind of peak at the top there. So just to like pop on the baby once they're born. Another thing that I've packed in this like kind of Ikea Ziploc bag. These are great by the way, if you ever go to Ikea you should pick some of these up. I use them for like everything. Kitchen like keeping stuff in and they're really handy for keeping things like really small things like this um, in your baby bag because um, otherwise you know they might just be floating about and things that are quite small like this it's handy to keep them together so you can just grab them 
These are little scratch mitts, um, and they're just plain white. I got these from Primark. These were so inexpensive. I think they were like, I don't even know, like a pound maybe for three pairs or something. They were really inexpensive. And I imagine it's the kind of thing that you're probably going to lose, like a bit like baby socks. Um, so yeah, I thought I'll just get those ones and just keep them in that little bag and then I can just grab them. Now like I said, I did buy some water wipes that I showed you in that little pack thing for the changing. But I'm not sure how the hospital feel about those. So I've also packed um, in here just cotton wool balls um, just for changing as well. Because um, I don't know how they feel about using the the water wipes really. So I thought I'll just pack these as well. Um, so I've got quite a lot in here because um, I don't know how many I'll use. I have no idea. Uh, so yeah, so I've just popped them in another little Ziploc bag so I can just grab them if I need them. Next up I have these little plain white um, baby vests. They're just the um, short sleeved ones. And these are from Pre... No, they're not from Primark. I think these are also from Tesco, you know. I don't know, I've gone a little bit mental with my Tesco baby stuff, but yeah. And these are also from Tesco, and they get they come in a pack of three for like just over three pound, I think, or something like that. So it's just to pop under any sleep suits or anything like that, just to keep the baby cozy. And these are love. These feel really nice actually. They're, they're really nicely finished at the edges, and they've got a really like thick band around the leg holes and stuff. So I just thought they feel like really nicely made and they'll probably be quite comfy on the baby as well so I've packed three of those and then lastly the thing that I've got in is um, three little sleep suits for when the baby is actually like in the hospital so when they're just kind of born and we've finished the skin to skin and what all, all that kind of thing just so we can pop these on so I've taken three with me because I don't know how many I'll need and these are actually from Primark these ones so just little got little footies in them as well and the good thing about the Primark ones is I've also got like the inbuilt scratch mitts so they're just like here and you can just fold those back and um, it keeps the little hands all enclosed in there so I thought that was quite good as well. So this is just like a grey and white striped. It's got a little star written on it. I've also got one that's got little little sheep on it which is cute. Um, these are all 0 to 3 these ones. Yeah, up to £10, so I'm hoping these will fit. Oh. And the last one also has it's just plain white and it's got a little sheep on it as well. So there we go, and these are really nice and soft as well actually. I, I washed all of these things before um, I popped them in the bag and they do feel really like they've washed quite well. So that's it, that's what's in my baby bag. Like I say, I feel like I've probably forgotten something crucial. Um, but I don't know what that is. So if you've watched this and you're like, why have you not got this? Please say because I um, really I'm stuck as to what else to put in. But I didn't want to like overpack, but I want to make sure I've got all the essentials, obviously. Um, so that's everything that I've got in there. So my plan is to also do uh, what's in my own hospital bag video. But I have a couple of things that I've ordered that I need to go and pick up to put in it before it's completely finished. So I think I'll probably do that video once I've got those things as well. And yeah, so that's it. So, yep, 39 weeks almost and feeling fine. Just waiting on the baby coming and feeling remarkably kind of chilled out about it at the minute. I'm sure that will change when it all kind of kicks off, but... Um, yeah, so I'll see you really soon for my what's in my own hospital bag video and if you want to go back and look at my pregnancy kind of vlog on how I found out I was pregnant and stuff like that, I'll leave the link for the video somewhere here or in the description box or something. I'll also leave like um, links for like the, the pack pod bag and stuff like that if anybody's interested. I'll leave links for all that kind of stuff as well. I'll um, hopefully see you all soon. Bye!